good, everybody? I'm back with another episode of Not So Randoms. I'm your host, Jaden, and today I have a special guest here with me today. What's up, man? It's your boy, St. Paul. I'm taking the vice president head of A&R for 100K Management. You're watching Not So Randoms on Walker Media. Yep. Let's get into some questions. What was growing up for you like? Growing up for me, I was born and raised in Ecuador. At the age of 12, I moved to uh, Washington, D.C., where I lived with my parents and my siblings. At the age of, um, I, in year 20, 2010, 2010, when I was 18, I graduated high school, uh, and then I decided to move to Florida to pursue my career in the business, mm-hmm. uh, which then led me into getting a job in the industry. Uh, really, without my parents, I wouldn't be who I am right now, so, you know, Shout out to my parents. Shout out to the parents. What got you into your field of work? So, like, what got you into what you're doing now? What steps did you take? What got me into my field was pretty much hard work and perseverance, man. Mm-hmm. You know, I started off with a friend of mine, which, uh, you know, we was just grinding, bro. Grinding, shooting videos, editing videos, which then opened a lot of doors for me to network events. Mm, um, yeah. I remember creating a LinkedIn. I remember creating a LinkedIn and rebranding myself, which that was the most important thing that I did the whole throughout my whole career. Um, I was always looking out for jobs, whether it was Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, and I was applying. Because you know these these are free tools that are out there, and you gotta be able to optimize and use these tools for you to get mm-hmm. opportunities. Um, a few months later, then our honey game management reached out to me, and uh, you know the rest is history, man. Yeah, definitely. The rest is history. Your title speak for itself, bro. So, if you had to say, what's the goods and bads of being an A and R? The goods and bads. Some of the advantages of being an A and R is uh, being able to see a product from start to finish. Yeah. And not only seeing that, but being able to delegate what to do and seeing your final product of your hard work. That's gotta be the most, the most important thing as far as the a and r like the, the greatest feeling is just to see your product come into life mm-hmm. um another advantage of being an a and r has to be connecting with people like i always say the ability in order to make a long lasting relationship rather than just signing a contract has to be a priority that has yeah. to be a priority so um some of disadvantages of being an a and r dealing with a lot of people not yeah. dealing with a lot of departments dealing with a lot of uh, different personalities and dealing with uh, deadlines, you know, in order mm. for you to be a and R, a successful A and R, you have to be patient and have to get things done. You have to have patience. Patience is the key, and you have to get things done. So leading on to the next question, like I said, it's a lot of work to do. What's your schedule usually like for you? Like your day, what you doing today? Um, one thing about me, bro, is I take my time and my energy serious. So when it comes down to scheduling, schedule, I like to have a daily routine. So um, the best way to start my day, I would have to say, is uh, going through going through my daily my daily routine, my daily tasks, mm-hmm. checking my emails, and uh, pre planning on things that I have to do throughout the day. Um, also, breakfast. Don't forget to your breakfast and stay hydrated throughout the day. You're mm-hmm. gonna thank me later. Stay hydrated. Um, once stay all healthy. these tasks are done, I usually um, head to the office where I meet with my team. We have meetings regarding any future projects or any daily tasks that we have. Uh, once that's completed, somewhere somehow I end up in the studio at night. I just don't know, but I'm yeah. always in the studio. <laughs> so, so when you said um, you meet with your team and stuff. Is that just like, what's the word, executives and team members, or is it like the artists too? So, um, so the, it would it would be like when I go to the office, it's pretty much just like the team as far as like you know A and R's, marketing mm-hmm. team, executives. Uh, we always, I think, communication is the best you know best key to mm-hmm. this. So, um, staying communicating up to date is very important. Yeah. So I come to the I come to the office. Uh, we all gather in one office, one big office. We go through uh, our daily tasks, what's going on, any um, anything on TikTok happening. You know, TikTok is crazy right yeah. now. So anything viral going on, we want to be the first ones to to, to get on that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was gonna say that's like I was about to say. I know it's hard to get all the artists in one room because I know they all doing something different. Like, like yeah, I know. Yeah, they yeah, are. yeah, yeah, facts. Yeah, unless unless we're working on like a, a certain project and mm-hmm. we need the artists to be in 
office, then we call him up. Like, yeah, track. All right. What is it like working with a hundred K management and knowing track? Hundred K management, man, that's my extended family. Mm-hmm. You know, our motto is uh, teamwork. So together, we're we're really working into shaping the music culture. Yeah, definitely. Uh, track, track is my mentor, and he's a great leader, man. I'm always grateful and thankful, not only just to God, but just to track, but to track because he seen my potential and gave me an opportunity. So shout out to the goat. Shout out Trey. Man, I know that. I know he been putting in work. All the podcasts I've seen of him explaining his story, I know he put in work. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. Most definitely. <laughs> What's the key to having a healthy work environment? The key to having a productive environment is being accountable and accountability towards others. Mm-hmm. Trust and respect creates a team rather than a workplace. Mm. In the position that you're in, what are the top three priorities and how are they tackled? Uh, being an executive is important to be consistent, mm-hmm. maximize your time, and discipline. Mm-hmm. You gotta be consistent in order for you to get the opportunities. Yeah. By maximizing your time, you are organized and efficient, and uh, having discipline will definitely encourage you not to give up and tackle your goals that you set. You gotta stay ready instead of getting ready. Mm-hmm. That way, when you're getting ready, you won't have time to waste. You're actually, you have all the time you need. Preparation, yeah. Preparation yep. is key, man. You gotta, you, you, gotta, you gotta be ahead of everybody, you know what I'm saying? You gotta outwork everybody. So once you outwork everybody and you have, you're pretty much prepared, you're ready for anything. You don't have to be ready. When, when people ask for something, people are gonna be getting ready. You already are ready. already ready. I'm okay. ready to go. How have you grown from your past to now, and what are some ways that you've changed? Uh, these past three years, man, I, uh, I, I self-actualized myself into uh, not only becoming a better executive, but a better person. Mm-hmm. So um, I think a, a good way to see my uh, my progress is just my position on the game. Yeah, easiest way to explain it. That's a top priority position. And even the fact that you said becoming a better person and vice president, a lot of people would be like, no, I'm fine. I, I do a great job. But just knowing that you could look into yourself and be like, all right, I have this to work on. I'm going to fix it. I got this to work on. I'm going to get it done. That just shows like you, exactly. you, you growing. You definitely growing. You doing what you got to yeah, do. For man, you have to, you have to find ways to be better, man. You have mm-hmm. to be open-minded. You have to educate yourself. There's a lot of tools out there, man. I read books on my free time. I listen to podcasts. I mean, I do anything and everything just to educate myself every day no matter how far you go you can always go farther that's how i see it yes sir that's that's what i'm talking about yeah Yeah. so you have anything to look out for like the management wise there's a lot of things to look out man make sure y'all stay tapped in with uh 100k management all social medias Mm -hmm. and myself at st paul um you know we we're working on big projects I can't really say nothing right now, but if you stay up to date with our page, you you will be the first one to see and hear this uh, this great great uh, things that we're working on. Oh, hey, hey, we getting that boss top album too? Oh, well, it's, yeah, it's coming, bro. It, it's coming. I promise you. That's something. Well, yeah, that, that was that was part of the oh, know, little secret. Yeah. you already know it. So, yeah. yeah, it's coming now. You guys just have to wait and stay tuned. 100k management all social medias mm-hmm. my social media man it's coming bro it's coming, coming. y'all stay tuned before stay we tuned. end though we got some bonus questions that i got here. what would your last meal ever be if you had to choose to eat nothing last else meal ever yeah it's gotta be churrasco man my brazilian people will understand churrasco 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 man all my brazilian people tap in y'all i'm gonna put know. a picture like right here churrasco yeah. <laughs> what is it? Churrasco, churrasco bro, it's like, it, it's like a barbecue. It's pretty much a mm. barbecue, but it's a, it's a Brazilian barbecue. So you're talking about like, you know, you know how like American barbecues, you got little burgers, hot dogs, man, that shit yeah. is ass, bro. Like, <laughs> we, got, we got steak for days, bro. We got uh, sausages, which they're calling guisa, mm. sausage. I mean, I'm talking about farofa. Bro, it's just, bro, it's a huge plate, bro, and it's just, it's some good food, man, so, mm-hmm. yeah, you, you, you gotta check it out, bro. Check Hell out. yeah, I got to. Yeah, you got to. Would you rather know how you die, or when you die? How I die, or when I die? Neither. 
either. Uh, I'm gonna say neither, man. But I agree with the bigger lesson to this question, which is carpe diem. Mm. Tomorrow isn't promised, and live your life to the fullest. Only reason why I know that saying is from that show Phineas and Ferb, yo. When you yeah. said carpe diem, yo, I was like, yeah, yeah. that's from Phineas and Ferb, yo. You never know when today gonna be your last day, so you gotta live it to the fullest, definitely. Yeah, man. Hell yeah, hell yeah. That's why I don't wanna be like waiting around how I'm like, man, fucking nigga, yeah. man. Yeah, you 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 the one percent that said, man, fuck nah, I'm I'm gonna yeah, be my answer, no, 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 no. Tomorrow isn't promised, so you gotta live your life to the fullest, man. That's true, man, that's fucking true, bro. It's so mm-hmm. sad, right? Especially nowadays. Yeah, yeah. It's fucking it's so sad, bro. So yeah, man, live your life to the fullest, bro. Which is scarier, space or the ocean? The ocean. Ocean? The Why? Ocean, yeah, the ocean, man. Nah, you gotta you gotta respect the water, bro. Mm-hmm. You have to respect the water, man. It's a scary place. But almost eighty percent of our planet made out of water, like yo. That's just crazy, yeah. That's just crazy. Nah, I respect the water, man. I know how to swim, but I respect the water. I don't be going like deep in the beach. Yeah, know? yeah, I I'll never. I'll put my toes in, that's about it, yo. That's it. <laughs> So we're going to take a break from the hypothetical questions. We're going to move it into music. So if you had to choose Certified Lover Boy or Donda? Um, both, man. I mean, Donda was a good ass album. I'm not going to mm-hmm. lie. Donda is a good album. Great it's production. Yeah, man. And, uh, you know, Kanye, man, he's a fucking genius, man. Yeah, so. definitely. You got to watch Genius. Genius, that's a great ass documentary. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good ass documentary. Mm-hmm. It's gonna make you hungry. I remember watching that commentary, and the moment I finished that, I was like, "Yo, I want more." I, I, I was looking, bro. That motivated me so much. So I respect yeah, yeah. that. Uh, Drake, Drake is the goat too, man. So mm-hmm. I like both of them. They get fuck with both of them too. Last bonus question is a mental health check-in. So how are you doing mentally? Are you okay? I like this question, man. I like this question not only because it's good to um to ask either your your close friends, neighbors, anybody, man. You know anybody. We don't know what uh what people are going through. So um for this question, that my answer that I'm doing good. I'm doing great. I'm in good spirits. I'm blessed. I'm happy. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm keeping myself uh, busy, whether it's with exercise, eating healthy. Reading books, so um. Overall, Shit, you the vice president. You gotta, you gotta be happy. That's a, that's a big name, yo. Yo, yeah, yeah, no, you're right, you're right. No, it is. I, I'm so, I'm so grateful and thankful, bro. Every time, I, every time I walk in, I walk into my office, man. I, I'm just like, it's like a dream come true. Yeah. Uh, you know, I had, I had a dream of this. I mean, my dream when I was young, it was really, literally, was to own a business, own a, a company, mm-hmm. and wear suits. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm talking about 29 years later, 20 years later, now I'm here in the office. In the suit. Wearing a suit. <laughs> and just looking over, you know, I mean, working. I don't like to say looking over, even though, like, my job is to make sure everything goes in the right um, the right order and how it's supposed to go. You know? mm-hmm. But just working with a team, with a good team, it's just, it, it's, it's, it's a blessing, man. It's a blessing, yeah. so... Um, yeah, man, I'm blessed, man. I'm blessed. And the reason why I asked that question is because, you know, you never know what somebody going through. And before I started reaching out, doing interviews with producers and stuff like True Bands and you, um, I was doing a lot of interviews with rappers. And I'm not saying every rapper is in the streets, but, you know, most rappers are in the streets. So you don't know what they go through. They got a lot of stuff going on on a daily. They might be running from stuff dealing with certain situations so it's just good to always check in and see how they doing too because they'll they'll say it through the music they'll let us know how they doing in the music with the um putting their feelings on the song but it's just better to get an actual personal like you know where yeah man yeah it, it, it's, it's always good just to check up man just mm-hmm. do a daily call it doesn't have to be every day once a week twice a week maybe mm-hmm. just check up on them Good. That's all. You don't have to have a long conversation. Yeah. As long as they know that somebody 
people love them mm-hmm. and um and you know or asking about them that's just gonna that that means a lot to to, to them so yeah. yeah man check out for your people yeah that's all the bonus questions i have for today this the end of not so randoms um st paul's going to tell you where you can find them at on all social medias yes sir make sure y'all tap in to all my social medias at st paul twitter instagram facebook tiktok i mean i don't miss linkedin mm-hmm. everything follow me on social media i'm out there take advantage of the social media take advantage of the social media man Check out my DMs, so tap in with some music, producers, whatever, whoever you are out there, hit my DM, this work. Yes, sir. Stay tuned for another episode. Yes, sir.